Peter B. Mentor, Mwobo Alo is dead. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Chief Sylvester Mwobo Alo, a mentor to the Labour Party presidential candidate, Peter B. is dead. Wanobi was the governor of Anambra State between 2006 and 2014. Chief Mwobo Alo assisted him to stabilize parks and markets in the state as the governor's aide in that sector. The period was characterized by violent as motor park towers under the guise of a National Association of Road Transport Owners, NARTO, NATO. They were responsible for carrying out all manner of atrocities in the state. But Mobu Al was credited for using his political connection and native intelligence to sanitize the system and return peace to the state. He was feared by hoodlums in the state as they believed he was a witch doctor. Mwobualo was a second Republic lawmaker and a former director general of the P2B campaign organization. He was a founding member of the All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA, Obi's former party, on whose platform he was governor of Anambra State. Now, this is actually a third one for Obi. Wow. Um, now, this one, this one go touch Omo. This one go touch Obi. He, at least... But what I've heard about him, he's the kind of person that was very diligent in his work, Sha. You know, he was felt, his presence was felt. His presence was felt in obese governance. And I think that is even the more reason why people are, why he's being remembered. We we'll, we'll pray that, um, we send our condolences to the family and we'll ask us to give them the fortitude to bear this kind of um, loss at this time. And sincerely, I think this is a reminder that like I said in one particular news, you should be diligent at what you do. Be it you cleaning, be it you whatever it is that you're doing, be very diligent because you do not know who you might be watching. You do not know who you might be watching. Whatever position you find yourself, whether you are a security man, whether you're a security woman, whatever you do, no matter how little it is, no matter how low you think it is, be very diligent because somebody might be watching and it might be the next it might be a stepping stone to your next big break okay so had it been this man was not i want to uh, if i put it this way that he was not um this useful he did not make himself useful in government you know he just went to do his work ordinarily i think what i'm trying to say here is let us put our heart and mind into whatever we do most especially it is if it is good just like they will say, whatever that is worth doing is worth doing well. Don't be that ordinary person. Don't be that ordinary person that does ordinary work. They employ you as, a, um, uh, what's it called, as, let's say, for instance, a, an accountant to make sure you just do your ordinary accounting job and you leave. There is nothing extra. They employ you as a janitor. You do your ordinary janitor work and there is nothing extra. Do this. Be the extra in the building. When everybody is being basic, you know, be the extra. Because now that extra, I go use no you. It is that extra that is going to make you shine forth. Hmm? You are cleaning, you, you, you're cleaning a place and, you know, it is just cleaning. But there's how you do yours. You take your time, you clean, you make sure everything is sparkling and all clean. Hmm? Unlike others who just does the cleaning, I beg, I don't tire, I want the gas. They don't, they don't drop everything, they don't go. But you, you clean and make sure that, you know, anyone who comes into that particular environment feels your touch. Hmm? The person going to say, now you do this particular work. You understand? The person going to say, now you do this particular work. We say, you start, are you, you know, when immediately you're not around. For, for instance, you have somebody who wants, wants to clean your office. You have cleaners in your office, but once a particular young lady clean your office, you're like, you know, you go already know, say, ah, now this person clean because maybe the person, aside from, you know, sweeping, the person dust your chairs, the person dust your desk, the person cleans, lift up things, you know, it's able to clean. You know, you, you there's this... There's this, her touch, you know, when somebody else has come and don't do those things. But she put the extra, that is why I said, you should put the extra things, you're sort of going to stand out like that. So this man was, um, 
at least it was mentioned for positivity in Peter B's and during Peter B's rule. Sincerely, it takes a man of diligence to do what he did with Peter B. It was not just that person who did his job and went home. From what we are seeing here, he was the extra. He did things that now the state, they are now saying, he, they are, look at how they narrated him. So, um, as he goes home, we pray he souls rest in peace and, you know, um, God grants his family the, the fortitude to bear um, this loss. And also grants me to be, because I know Fito B will feel this one. Mm, he's going to feel it. Okay. Rest on all, our Lord. You are part of a success story of P2B Rajim. Hmm. Okay. Exactly true. From my town, no nonsense, man. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. 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 We lost the man of timber and caliber. Hmm. Now, let us. We are going to. We are going to use this opportunity. Whenever somebody dies, huh? What I do is, aside crying, aside, I shout mourning the person. I try to look back and say, what is this man going to be remembered as? Apart from the, you know, being, being, being what's it called, extra in our work, making sure, what, I, what is the legacy of, that we're going to believe in? At the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is not the amount of wealth. It is not the money you leave. And they tell you, you'll be dead long gone for 20 years. 30 years, your money go down, people go down share property, go down share property. People will say they go down, people, people will come steal. But what they will not be able to steal from you, what they are not going to be able to take from you, is your legacy. Hmm? It's your legacy. What legacy are you leaving behind? All those people that have died before, what legacy did they leave behind? You understand? Exactly. So I feel it's a time where we'll look into ourselves. Because at the end of it this day, we are all living on broad lives. When the day will be say person will get and go no co 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 you're going to need to open. This goes this goes to both Christians and Muslims because across all religion. On a very good day, we go give Mother Earth with the Olam. You understand? So what kind of legacy are we going to be leaving behind? What kind of a legacy? Are we going to be remembered for how how, how are we going to be remembered? Now, how we treat people, now people go remember. Ah, had it been said this person be here now? Ah, this person for make this thing better. She would have done this, she would have done that. Had it been that this man was here, she would have done this. In fact, not even minding. How are we working towards making sure that leg that is what we are going to be left by? Are we going to be, are people going to be happy that we are gone? Now, the time for us to build that legacy now because we don't even know when the tomorrow will come. Hmm? Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next.